Hello everyone, the time is now 12 Eastern time. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with today's webinar. My name is Jesse McNulty. I'm a business development manager and licensed specialist here at LPA Systems. With me, I have Rich Chester, who is our director of consulting. Rich will be giving us an introduction of IBM Cognos Analysis for Excel. Um, he'll take us through some slides and introduce what CAFE is all about, how it fits in your organization, and then he'll provide some demos of different use cases that you can leverage CAFE for in your organization. Uh, before uh, Rich does these demos, I'll actually introduce LPA systems and then provide everyone an update on the recent IBM Cognos license changes that went into effect at the end of July. And these license changes may impact uh, your ability to use CAFE. So uh, please stay tuned for the license changes. Throughout the webinar, if you have any questions, please use the Q&A window um, right in WebEx there. If we don't answer your question during the webinar, we'll shoot you an email afterwards uh, and get an answer to your question as soon as possible. Okay, on that note, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So at LPA Systems, we help our customers envision and implement innovative IBM business analytics-based solutions that help your organization find exactly what you need to know. That's what our tagline is all about. As a trusted partner, we can help you accelerate your implementation, increase your return on investment, reduce your project risk, and reduce software cost. An example of this is an upgrade. You know, we do dozens of Cognos upgrades per year. You know, we know what problems people typically run into. We know how long these types of projects uh, should take. So we can quickly get in and out and help you get upgraded and help you avoid any common kind of pitfalls we see out there. That's just one example of many of, of how our experience can quickly help enable your organization. LPA is based in head, or it's headquartered in Rochester, New York. Uh, we also have offices in Dallas and Houston, but we have consultants throughout the United States. So there's likely one of our Cognos or SPSS consultants uh, near you. We have hundreds of active enterprise, mid-market, and OEM clients. We span from the smallest companies to the Fortune 500. We're an IBM Premier Business Partner, which only 4% of partners fall into this space, so it's very exclusive. So we're one of the top IBM business analytics partners out there. Um, and we're also an Esri Silver Tier Partner. Uh, Esri is a geospatial intelligence or location analytics company. So we use Esri in conjunction with Cognos to enable location analytic solutions for our customers. On the IBM side, we specialize in IBM Cognos Business Intelligence, uh, IBM Cognos TM1, uh, SPSS. So those are kind of our core competency in the business analytic products. We're also a reseller in the TISA, Data Stage, and the Information Management brands. Our consultants are 100% certified. On average, they've been working in this industry and with this software for 10 plus years. Uh, we have expertise, whether you're just getting started with the warehouse, all the way up to advanced analytics and predictive analytics with everything in between. In 2013, we were awarded by IBM as a Beacon Award finalist for one of our healthcare analytic solutions. So we're innovators. Our consulting offerings uh, are across the spectrum. So if you're if you're new to analytics and your organization is really just getting started, uh, we can help with roadmap development, things like BI readiness assessments, uh, BICC uh, competency center assessments, strategy and roadmaps, uh, help business case development to go invest in analytics. Yeah. As we step up uh, the ladder here, data warehousing, big data. So we're a reseller from Natiza. We have expertise in dimensional modeling and building data warehouses. So we work with a wide variety of ETL tools such as Data Stage or, or Legacy Cognitive Data Manager, for example. And we offer consulting expertise whether it's guidance in that space or actual implementation. The next step up, business intelligence on top of your warehouse. So we're specialized in Cognos, BI, we offer, our offerings include everything from health checks, migrations, upgrades, uh, SDK, if you need to integrate Cognos into your existing portal um, or other applications in your environment. 
I'm a security expert, so we do turnkey implementations. And our training is second to none. Uh, it's about half the price of some of the other training that if you go out and get pricing for on-site training, it's about half the price of what you what you commonly see out there. And it's our materials are customized using your data. So your users are getting familiar with your data as you're learning the tool, get really positive feedback from end users as a result. So consider us for business for BI, Cognos BI training. In the performance management space, we specialize in IBM Cognos TM1. Uh, so planning and budgeting based solutions. We do architecture design uh, services, health check, turnkey implementations, and customized training as well in the TM1 space. For advanced analytics, uh, first and foremost, location analytics. Uh, Esri Maps is our specialty. So we're a reseller uh, for ArcGIS Online and Esri, and we can get you up and running uh, quickly with Esri Maps for IBM Cognos to enable spatial selection in your reports, for example, or uh, heat maps or other uh, map-based visualizations uh, that can be laid into your Cognos environment. Predictive Analytics, SPSS Modeler, we offer uh, full project services on helping your organization uh, leverage predictive analytics. Uh, we also offer training and enablement services in the predictive analytics space. Across this spectrum, we're authorized reseller for IBM Business Analytics, so we can resell licenses and renewals. So please keep us in mind for any license needs or renewal needs. Right, now I'm going to talk about the recent July license changes that just came up. So before I jump into that, I want to set the scope because there's going to be some Cognos Express customers uh, on this webinar today. Um, today you're going to see CAFE. CAFE is an option with your Cognos Express licensing. Um, but the, when we talk about the license changes today, these don't apply to Cognos Express customers. It's all different models. Similarly for Cognos Advanced, so if you're in, uh, if, if, you, if you are part of an ELA and you're, your company's currently leveraging Cognos Advanced licensing, uh, the rules that you're going to hear us talk about today are going to be different than what you're used to, so th these won't apply to you. If you have questions on whether or not this new model applies to you, um, we're going to talk later about a licensing assessment form you could fill out. If you go fill out that form, we can uh, let you know exactly how these license changes impact your organization. So uh, you'll see details for that later on in the presentation. Okay. All right, so for the vast majority of you, these license changes do impact you. Um, so there's a couple points I wanna make before I dive right in. The first is these license changes really simplify things. They deliver more capabilities at a lower cost of ownership. So you can see less roles you're going to see that more the lower end roles are going to have access to, to more of the studios. So a user maybe that before could only run reports now has a capability to actually go do some ad hoc analysis on top of that. And we'll talk about that uh, later in the presentation. As a result of lowering the number of roles, that's also going to simplify uh, the licensing and configuration. So it's, there's just going to be less roles, easier to manage, reduced administration. The majority of these new roles, your old roles are automatically going to convert. You don't have to go buy a trade up to convert them. So for the vast majority of your roles, you're going to get immediate value and you're going to get to start to leverage some studios that these users couldn't leverage before. So you can start that immediately. There's a new role introduced called Forward Looking Analytics Architect, FLAA. It's a mouthful. but it's, it's really an innovative role because it brings together Cognos BI as well as predictive analytics and TM1 uh, for what if analysis. So it's a new role that's going to bring some of the powers of SPSS and TM1 right into your Cognos BI licensing model. So if, you, if, you haven't, if you're not a TM1 company yet or you're not an SPSS modeler, uh, company yet, this is a license level to consider to start moving down that path. Okay. All right, on the following slide, the left hand side lists the new IBM license role, and on the right hand side 
uh, the triangle portrays kind of your, your characteristics or your spectrum of existing BI users. I'm going to start from the bottom. So these are users who are just uh, receiving scheduled reports. They're not interacting with them. They're not doing ad hoc. These are the folks who are just uh, executing and, and reviewing reports that are delivered to them. That role is now called information distribution. Next level up, your information workers. So these are folks uh, that are viewing scheduled reports. Uh, they're running some interactive reports, they're consuming dashboards. They're starting to do some low level ad hoc analysis. That level role is now called an analytic user. Next level up is your power user. These are the users that are really starting to do ad hoc analysis, creating new reports, uh, uh, developing interactive reports, using visualization. These are your analytic explorers. Next level up is your analytic administrator. This is your almost like your traditional administrator, uh, doing administration, security, performance tuning, uh, perhaps some SDK development. And then finally, the new role, forward-looking analytic architect that aligns to what a data scientist role in your organization or data architect may play. All right, the following table portrays what each of these license levels can do. The way you read this chart is if you start from the bottom and you work your way up, each role up gets all the capabilities below the other roles. So the forward-looking analytic architect at the top can do everything underneath it. The far right column shows you the benefits of the roles. The column in the middle capabilities talks about the studios that, that they can begin to leverage. So I'm not gonna read everything on here because uh, those of you on the webinar can see this slide and glance through it, but I'll, I'll briefly talk through the capabilities of each. Information distribution, receive schedule reports, use the IBM Cognos mobile application, interact with active reports. That's your information distribution boards. Analytic users can do everything below, plus perform some ad hoc analysis in Cognos Workspace Advanced, for example. They can assemble and embed dashboards using Cognos work, Workspace. Uh, they can author uh, the complete spectrum reports. So Report Studio, you know, if you want an analytic user that wants to go create a map in Report Studio, they could go do that. So they, they're entitled to use Report Studio. Uh, they can also le le leverage the Rave engine. Next level up is Analytic Explorer. These users can everything can do everything uh, that the below users can do, uh, but they can also use things like Framework Manager to perform multi-dimensional or relational modeling. Uh, they can write back to TM1 queues if you own the FLAA user. Uh, they can leverage CAFE. So this is the first license level, Analytic Explorer here, that where CAFE now comes included. In your previous licensing, you had to buy CAFE as an add-on. So this is good news, your Analytic Explorer users can now leverage CAFE. Next level up is Analytic Administrator. So this is, again, they can do everything that the, the below users can do. Um, one interesting thing here is that they can leverage the Cognos SDK. All right, then finally at the top, the FLAA user, they, they can leverage SPSS Model or Client and, uh, and TM1, a form of PVU TM1 server. Uh, both of those are somewhat limited use. SPSS needs to write back to a TM1 uh, cube or a Cognos BI uh, environment. You know, that's the only restriction with SPSS modeling. Uh, in TM1, you can't use scorecards. That's, that's the one restriction there, or workflow. But other than that, you've got the capabilities of the tool set. So, great way to get introduced to those tools. All right. So, the following slide shows you the evolution from your legacy roles on the left to the new roles on the right. The ones with the arrows, these are, these are roles that are going to be automatically converted. So this is automatically happening with no trade-up fees. So there's no, there, there's no trade-up cost for those, for those arrows. Okay, I'm going to start from the bottom here, and you'll notice the bottom one, consumer, does not currently have an arrow. So consumer, from the Cognos 8 days, if you never trade that up to an enhanced consumer, it's still a consumer. You still need to do that trade up, basically, do enhanced consumer or analytic user now uh, in order to, to get some of these benefits. 
So, can, so if you still have consumers, most customers have traded up by now. If you still have consumers, there's still a, a recommended trade up path. Next level up, enhanced consumers, business analysts, business authors, and BI users, all those roles map into this analytic user role. Above that, your BI professional, professional author, advanced business author, all those map into this analytic explorer role. And then finally, BI architect and administrators map to the analytic administrator role. So you can see from this slide when we talk about simplifying roles, you know, that there's several on the left hand side. You can see how this really cuts down on the amount of roles that, that are out there. All the way up at the top, the FLAA role, forward looking analytic architect, there's no direct trade up that just automatically occurs. There are trade up options for you. Uh, for a cost, you could trade up, for example, from an analytic explorer to an FLAA user. All right, just to highlight at each of these common license levels, uh, so there's more changes, there's more benefits than what I'm listing here, but these are from the customers I've talked to so far, these are the, these are the highlights, these are the headlines, if you will. Analytic users, your former enhanced consumers and analysts, the good news here is they can now do ad hoc. They can go use Cognos Workspace Advanced. They can use Report Studio if you want to. They can use Cognos Insight. They can use Query and Analysis Studio. So analytic users can now go do ad hoc, which is a big deal a lot of, for a lot of my customers. Next level up, Analytic Explorer, your former advanced business authors and BI professionals. These users can now use CAFE. So, and that's what Rich Chester is gonna show us uh, briefly here. They can also use Report Studio, uh, advanced business authors before could not use that, and Framework Manager. So BI pros or ABAs before couldn't do that. Um, they, they can also leverage TM1 write back if you own FLAA license. So they can actually write back to support uh, what if scenario use cases embedded in your Cognos workspace to add forms, for example. The analytic admin, the biggest new capability is that SDK is included. So, so if you're not currently using SDK, you're now entitled to. And then finally, the FLAA uh, license, it provides you kind of a, a low cost opportunity to trade up your analytic explorers into special use TM1 and SPSS model licenses. So if you're just getting started with things like predictive analytics, it's a great way for, for, you, for you to get uh, your feet wet in that space. All right, there's a lot of roles and different scenarios for trade-ups, and you, in your organization, you may actually have some additional roles that I didn't even list in some of the legacy lists. So uh, what we're currently doing is offering an IBM Cognos license assessment to just help you with this analysis. So as with part of this assessment, we'll provide you a license migration analysis to show you what your old licenses look like you know, in a, with all the roles and how that maps to this new world and for each role, what studio those users can now go leverage. Um, you see the chart in the bottom right, we'll provide something along those, just along those lines with a list of all the capabilities that they could potentially have and what user roles are now entitled to those. We can also provide a renewal review to alliance to that. We can provide you trade-up recommendations, for example, the FLAA trade-up. And then uh, package it up in a benefit summary and presentation, just so you can see from a business perspective uh, how these new uh, studios can help your, your organization. So right now we're gonna message out via WebEx a link to our website as to where you can actually go request a Cognos license assessment. Um, we'll just need to talk to you for about a half an hour upfront uh, to understand your environment and get started. Um, so, we're sending that link right now. Uh, you know, we'll probably get back to you within a day or two once you fill out that form. Okay. All right, I appreciate everyone's time and patience here. Uh, on that note, I'm going to turn it over to Rich Chester, who's going to provide us our introduction to CAFE and give us the demo. Okay, thanks everyone.